places that parents should stop bringing their kids to. Number one, fine dining restaurants. If you go to a restaurant and there's no kiddie menu, there's a good chance that they did not prepare food for your child. Stop bothering the waitress with, oh, mash the potatoes for my child, oh, cut the carrots into small pieces. Girl, this is not a kiddie's restaurant. Don't get me started on undisciplined kids in restaurants running around screaming and shouting. Guess what? Half of the people there already have kids, but they have the brains to leave them at home because what? This is not a restaurant for children. House parties. I can't even believe I'm making a video about this. Why would you bring your child to a house party that's at night? Wait, even if it's during the day, why would you bring your child to a house party? And then you start asking where the microwave is so you can warm your milk for your child. Stella, this is why we don't invite you. Weddings and funerals. Guys, unless the child is directly connected to the person that is getting married or to the person that is dead, don't bring your child. And then every two minutes you're in the kitchen bothering the caterers that have been specifically hired to cater for that function, not your child. You're in that kitchen. Eh, Alice, was it a must you bring your child to this function? Madam, there's a reason why we have family holiday resorts and couple holiday resorts. If a hotel doesn't have a family room or does not offer baby cots, that's a sign that they don't want your little munchkin in their hotel. I will not cover up because your child is seated by the pool. Madam, peleka mtoto kwa hoteli za watoto. Hapa ni kwa kubo. Salons and spas. Unless your child is also getting a treatment, I don't see the reason why you're bringing your child to your manicure appointment. And what's even worse is expecting the workers at the salon to take care of your child as you get your hair and nails done. Madam, that is not a daycare. And I know you'll start saying, oh, I don't have anyone to leave my baby with. Well, you should have thought of that before you had a child. That is called childcare expenses. And that you have to pay for every single day. If you are not taking care of your child, then you must pay someone to do that for you. No one is taking care of your child for free. You better have that budget.